Close your eyes and watch the breath. All the way in, all the way out. Each breath as it comes in, each breath as it goes out. Try to breathe in a way that feels good for the body. Take a couple of good long breaths to begin with to energize the body. And then let the breath find a rhythm that feels good. Or you can experiment. You can try different kinds of breathing. Long breathing for a while, and then short breathing, which feels better. Heavy, light, fast, slow, deep, shallow. Experiment for a while to see what the body needs. See what the mind needs. The mind needs a place to rest. It also needs a place where it can be alert. And the breath is perfect for that. It's right at the spot where the mind and the body meet. And it keeps your anger here in the present moment. You can't watch a past breath. You can't watch a future one. All you've got are the breaths coming in right now, right now. That keeps you anchored right here. And this is the mind's natural place to be. Our problem is that we spend a lot of time going in unnatural places, way off into the future, into the past. And it's not the case that we don't have to think about those things. We do. We learn lessons from the past. We anticipate the future. But if you want to observe the mind in action, you've got to watch it in the present moment. You've got to be alert to what it's doing. Because it's right here that you're making your choices. And your choices rule your life. And you want to make sure they're coming from a good place. So f feeding the mind comfortable breaths is like food for the mind. And it's like medicine. The mind is battered through going through the world. Sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations. All the news in the world out there. It can, can't help but have a bad effect on the mind. So you need to learn how to take care of it. And this is how you do it. You give it a nice, comfortable place to stay in the present moment. Breathe in a way that feels good, feels refreshing. Think of the whole body breathing. This way all the nerves in the body get rested. They get soothed. And stay here for a while. It's like putting a cream on it on a rash. You don't put the cream on and take it off right away. You put the cream on and you let it stay there. In the same way, if you want to get the best use out of the breath, okay, stay with the breath. And it'll have its effect on the mind and effect, a good effect on the body as well, because you're allowing the whole body to breathe. It allows the blood to circulate in areas where it tends to get cut off. Organs that have been deprived of oxygen, suddenly get more oxygen. So it's good for the body, too. But this is how we treat the diseases of the mind. In the first step, we do some symptom management, soothe the ruffled feathers of the body, ruffled feathers of the mind. And then when the mind settles down, then you can start looking at yourself and see what's going on in the mind. When it makes a choice, why is it making that choice? Is it going to be a skillful choice? How can you tell? As you get to know the present moment better, you'll be able to see these things a lot more clearly. So spend as much time here as you can. Make this your home. You've got food, clothing, shelter, medicine, all the requisites for the mind are right here. <laughs>